So this is the Sync 2 module to get Android Auto. It comes in a box, looks like, actually a really nice box. Um, this kind of guy, Car ABC. Um, so it's their module. Um, it comes with really horrible instructions, but all you do is plug in the API M54 pin connector onto the back, and you have an LVDS cable that's coming from your module, like your actual chip. You have to drill a hole in your in your in your sheet metal APIM box for the LVD cable to come out. Um, so those are the two connections you have to be made up here. I I was confused because there's a third cable um, that pigtails off your 54 connector that goes to your box. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect your you're gonna open this up. It's not that bad. Uh, it is kind of a mess though. You pull out your APIM, you put that T harness in it, and then you pull your radio out, take your APIM off, put your module in, drill the hole, I guess before you put your module in. Um, so you would take everything apart, take the screen down to its bare materials basically, open up the module, take everything out of the APIM, which is, the APIM is just your, your head unit computer. Um, you drill a hole in your box, put your modules together, link the cables, make sure that the, the touchscreen cable, it's a little yellow cable, make sure the pins are uh, oriented correctly because mine are upside down and your touchscreen won't work if they're upside down. Um, but there's a cable and it has uh, pads, usually the pads go down, right? On this one your cable or your pads are going to be up, there's four of them, and uh, you're going to have a bridge connector. Uh, in fact, I have the manual here. <laughs> see so let's see and I don't think they even show anything about your connections in here um, yeah they don't they don't show much um, but just some tips that I learned while playing with this uh, if you have a reverse camera really make sure you notice one shall be on so you're going to turn that first connector on uh, that will enable your backup camera and uh, backup camera still works um, the other thing is uh, so you can either hold I think your fast forward button fast backward button or skip previous track button sync button maybe nope sync button doesn't work um, so you can use I know these three so previous track Next track and OK. If you hold those for two seconds, so I'm going to hold OK. There it is. So you can actually see um, this is Carp Android Auto, which is wireless, uh, no wires at all connected. And normally it's going to play sound out of your AV in and have a microphone of its own um, that was my problem the microphone sounded horrible and the music didn't sound that good so to fix those problems you come to system and use cars Bluetooth channel switch that to on and it will use your original sync 2 system for microphone and as you can see Bluetooth. Um, so what it's doing is it's using Android Auto only for the audio. Um, not audio. It's only using Android Auto for video and the only thing, the aftermarket microphone like the microphone that's actually hooked up to your CarPlay box it sounds like shit, but the only thing it's being used for is actually uh, this guy right here. So what's the weather? Right now in Las Lunas, it's 58 degrees and mostly cloudy. Today, there will be scattered so showers. So that input is coming degrees. from my aftermarket microphone, which is part of the system. It sounds horrible. It's good enough for Google, but not really calls or anything. So make sure you turn the blue, turn Bluetooth to, for car on. Change that setting on, or else you have a headache. Also, this video is kind of just on the go, so I'm I'm not gonna retake this or anything. Um, 
I was able to, in the Ford Fusion, put my CarPlay box underneath. There's a little trim panel that's underneath this passenger side. You can pull it down, and there's just enough room for you to stick it under. Um, the cables that go to it, they come out underneath this head unit, uh, right at your bottom left corner of your glove box, and it uh, pulls down there, and you can actually tuck them all underneath so you can't see it at all. Um, the microphone for the Google Assistant, and that's all I'm using it for, not for calls. Like I said, it, it's not good enough for calls, but it's good enough for Google. Um, that is getting routed from behind this head unit. Actually, it's from the box. So the box is under my under my trim, then through my uh, head unit cavity. Underneath my trim here, which was pretty easy, I could just fish it under with my hands. Underneath my steering wheel, I could probably even find it. There it is. No, no, that's not it. That's a different cable. But it's it's underneath here. I was able to fish it from here. I pulled this. You can pop this whole uh, piece of trim up and out. Just be very careful with it. And then it's routed to this end cap trim. And that's it right there. So I have it coming from there, through here, under this, through here, through this end cap. And then I'm routing it up along here across and I actually took it apart and I just black taped the um, actual chip in there just so the chip doesn't get hurt by anything and that is the microphone itself you can just tuck that right behind your dash or right behind your um, I forget what this is called but just tuck that up and over stick that in there so it can still hear you with Google Assistant um, Another few things is uh, this is wireless, like I said, Android Auto. It works great, and you put it in reverse. Reverse camera works, right? The other question I had originally was, well, I still want to use my um, climate controls. I'm automatic. I like them. I like setting it to the right temperature. It's nice and cozy, right? Um, you can still do that. So what happens is it will automatically detect that you're using climate control, so watch. So, let's turn that to 72, and it goes right back. Um, so, quick adjustments, it does it all by itself. It's kind of annoying that it changes off your like screen if you're on the road, but by that point that you need the screen, you're probably got your climate where you want it. Um, but like I said, so you just click it, so I just change it from 70, 72, 71, and then it goes back after a couple seconds. Um, it won't kick you out as long as you're using the buttons. You know, it, it will kick you out, like if you start going to menus and stuff. But yeah, you can totally adjust your climate control and automatic. The other thing is, um, let's say um, I get out of my car. Ford logo goes on. Okay, everything's off now. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work with with uh, me being on my camera here, but it should connect to my phone here. That's good. Then it should take a second. Usually it's pretty quick. I think it might take a second because I don't know if it fully disconnected from Android Auto or anything. Um, but usually by now it would have switched over by itself. Like I said, I didn't actually get out of the car, so it might still not even ever disconnected. And it, it didn't. That's why. It would have went through the startup screen. Um, so normally it'll just do that by itself. It'll, uh, it'll, as soon as you get in the car, it'll just flick on. Um, another thing is I was curious about settings, you know? So you have CarPlay, Android Auto. You have something called Car Life and High Car. Of AirPlay Auto Link is apparently a screen mirroring app. I couldn't get it to work, uh, which is fine with me. And then you have setup in here. Um, uh, Bluetooth transmitter, don't use that. Um, I thought that would be how I would get my Bluetooth to my car. Don't. Uh, car settings, um, I think that's just your backup camera, which if you have the number one toggle on, you don't need it, right? Um, just toggle that and it'll do everything by itself. Um, Audio, like I said, I'm not using the audio from here. 
display. I played with this a little bit. You can brighten it up a little bit. Um, Wi-Fi. Uh, that will automatically connect for car for Android Auto and CarPlay wirelessly. That will connect by itself. You don't have to fuck with that at all. Smartphone. Um, it just tells you, hey, like if you want Android Auto off, so you can use Auto Link. Then, yeah. Do you want to turn off the? Do you want to turn this off to? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to turn off the following items to turn on uh, the Auto Link? So that's probably what I was messing up. I guarantee, if I would have turned off my Android Auto, it would have let me do the Auto Link screen mirroring. I just didn't think about that until now. Um, what else do I got here? System, language English, Bluetooth, you know. That's where I said I got the, um, the Bluetooth channel. And then I have automatic. This will automatically switch you into Android Auto and CarPlay. ACC detection, I don't know what that is. And then you have your factory reset. But that's basically all you have here. Um, Android Auto works great. I'm not going to go into my contacts, but you can see music. That is not playing any, that's not getting deteriorated, any any audio quality is being deteriorated by here, because it's actually all going to my Sync 2 system, and I don't even need this open to, look at, see, Sync 2, so it's basically just saying I only want um, to overlay sounds on top of your, on top of your Bluetooth system, and you know, a couple things like that, but that's just about it.